Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. <sighs> I am about to be doing a full face of makeup for the first time. This is my first time doing like a face full of makeup. I'm pretty excited and I'm gonna get right to the point because I don't want this intro to be really long. I have to hurry up and edit this video because it's Friday. And I need to post this tomorrow. Um, coming in, let me do a little disclaimer. I don't have any expensive makeup because I already don't know how to use makeup like that. So I'm not gonna buy some expensive makeup for me not to know how to use it. Cause it will be sitting collecting dust. So I got some makeup and tools from Walmart. Like these are all the brushes I have. I don't even have a big brush. I don't know what I'm doing. I hope you can tell by now. Um, but we're just gonna get around right on this video. I'm gonna tie my hair back because I don't want anything to get in my hair. So I'm a little closer to the mirror so I can see what I'm doing. I already washed my face. I don't have any primer. But I'm just going to start off with opening this because I'm gonna need it to spread my BB cream. I think, I don't even know if I can just do that with my hands. I've seen people do like put their BB cream on with their hands this feels so good aren't i supposed to wet it first i'm gonna i'm gonna go with it okay i wet the sponge i don't know if that's supposed to help with anything um but it feels soft i feel like it'll work i'm pretty excited stop i'm pretty excited hopefully this matches my skin tone because sometimes i'll be trying to lie to myself do i need more oh what if i apply too much I'm just gonna blend this in. It doesn't seem like it's blending. Let me use my hands. I don't know what I'm doing. Am I supposed to use my hands for this? I've seen a bunch of people use their hands and I'm just confused. I feel like I'm using a little bit too much. This seems like a lot. Ooh, this seems like a lot. I don't think I'm supposed to use this much. I'm just gonna go in with the beauty blender though and like do like this, make sure it really is blended. I feel like the whole video, I'm just gonna be like, I don't know what I'm doing, I don't know what I'm doing. Because the thing is, I don't know what I'm doing. I think I know the difference though. I think I'm just playing myself. So the next thing I'm gonna do is go in with some concealer. This is the e.l.f. Um, 16 hour camo concealer in the shade chocolate. Who would have guessed? I'm just going to put that under my eye. Oh! I just put it right here, right here, under my eye, under my eye. And I think I'm gonna put some down here and a little bit more under my eye because I do have a little bit of dark spots not like a circle but like dark spots from like acne should I like there is a concealer brush so maybe I'll just use that no should I not uh-oh <laughs> should I have not done that I should have got a towel like my desk is like turning brown by the second I'm gonna use this I think I used too much concealer oh child I can't really see any because of the Vium light but this is so bad, y'all. I might as well just have put this all over my face instead of the BB cream. The concealer looks like it's doing more than the BB cream. My face looks caked. Because the thing is, you can't rub. So you have to pat, 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 pat. What happens when you rub? Like, does it, if you rub, does it, like, me leave creases? I only know so much for watching Glow Up on Netflix. Bear with me. I look like I have a booty filter on on TikTok. No cap. My face looks smooth. No bumps. Well, here and there. But this video might be really short, so I might not, like edit it as much tomorrow i have a um eye doctor's appointment and i already went to one this week but they were kind of next thing i'm gonna do are my eyebrows and i've been practicing on my eyebrows a lot so hopefully practice is gonna make this perfect i've been struggling a lot with my eyebrows i've been making them too thick too thin it's been a whirlwind i'm just going to brush my eyebrows up i'm still trying to figure out if i like thin eyebrows or thick eyebrows so if these come out bad i'm gonna actually cry because i've been like trying so hard and they always like end up bad oh these look thick girl uh oh, giving me no arch <laughs> these eyebrows are mad thick I'm just going to go in with this line brush because it's very precise and I really like how close it gets to the eyebrows. And I'm just going to get my concealer and I'm going to dap a little bit of the concealer on here because I don't need that much. Look at me being a little guru. I'm just going to line, go along my eyebrows on the bottom. And I'm going to do it on the top as well, but make it closer to the eyebrow because I did make it pretty 
fit. I can't really tell if this is working. Okay, I'm gonna go and see the actual concealer brush and kind of blend this out up here. Okay, one eye rat is done, but it's like all the way over here. I wish it had like a little arch to it, more of an arch to it. It's really round. We'll keep going. I'm lifting up my brow so I can have some type of arch. I, this is the way to do it. If this eyebrow gets an arch, I may like take this one off so I can the arch a more of an arch in this one. But if not, I'll just leave it how it is. We're just gonna do the same thing I did on this eyebrow to this eyebrow. Also, I didn't watch a video on how to do makeup or anything. I kind of just doing. I'm kind of just doing what I observe from seeing other people do it. Hopefully, I'm doing a okay job. I would like to get good at makeup. But I don't know if it's something I you know, want to wear every day. But I would like to know that I can do it at least. You know, practice now so when I get older and want to go to the club, get crunk, I can know how to do it and not have my friends do it. Like okay, this eyebrow definitely looks better than this eyebrow just a little bit. So I might fix this one up, um, take it off and redo it. These are not symmetrical in any way, but I don't really feel like doing it again. So we're just gonna leave it how it is um, and hope for the best the end results. Sometimes I don't really enjoy my eyebrows like today. So I find to put a little bit of glitter under them makes it kind of pop. A little bit of glitter. So I'm just gonna put like a little bit of glitter underneath my eyebrows, kind of like a highlight, but I don't have that. So everybody's gonna work with what we got. <laughs> kind of not liking how it's looking yeah i'm not really liking how it's looking like that but i'm just gonna try on the other eyebrow like i kind of have it as a shimmer underneath my eyes i want it to pop but i don't want it to look too glittery at the same time so i'm done with my eyebrows i don't think i want to do it any eyeshadow because i'm not really an eyeshadow person Actually, you know what for the sake of the video i'm going to try i'm going to do an eyeshadow look but it's going to be very simple because i don't like big colors like that i'm going to do a brown kind of goldish look um hopefully that works out i don't really have anything for my eyes i don't have any eyeliner or mascara or any lashes because again, this is kind of just for fun. I should have got mascara, but I really wasn't thinking. That's mainly the reason why I'm not an eyeshadow person because I don't know how to do eyeshadow. I get scared that I'm adding too much or it's going in places it shouldn't be. But I kind of have a look going on. A little iffy, but that is a-okay. I'm going to add a little bit of um, glitter on my crease, on my nose, and maybe I'll do like a, I don't know. I, I'm only using eyeshadow, so I can only do so much. It's the glitter in my eye for me. But I don't know, like, do people do that? Do they use eyeshadow for stuff? It's not a bad tool at all. Okay, now I'm about to do my lips. I'm just going to get this brown eyeshadow. I think it's an eyeshadow. It says brown powder. I don't know what that means. But I'm just going to be lining my lips with that around. And now I'm going to go in with a little bit of the brow pencil and putting it on my lip as well and now that i have that little line effect i'm going to i don't really know a lip that i want to do so i'm just going to play around with colors i guess i'm kind of going for um like a dark lip i'm guessing the route i'm going in i wish i didn't add that red but i'm gonna try to cover it up as much as possible um, I think I'm gonna add like a little brighter color in the center just to give it some dimension, I guess. So I'm adding like a little darker pink in the middle. And I'm gonna go in with my Carmax because I don't have any lip gloss. This is pathetic. Okay guys, I'm going to go off camera and do a little bit of touch-ups. But then when I come back, I'll be done and we'll see the final results. Okay guys, are you ready to see the final product? I'm scared. Okay, three, two, one. This is the final uh, product. Um, I didn't really like the lip before, so I took that off and did um, a basic brown liner with around my lip. And then I just put some Carmax on and added a little bit of pink eyeshadow in the middle. Called it a day. This is a close up on the makeup. 
Don't call me too hard now, y'all. <laughs> yeah, and I just threw in this cute little shirt. Just, you know, spice it up a little bit. This is the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe and turn on post notifications so you can be notified for it every time I post. I try to post on Saturdays, but if I can't, I try to make the next video even better. I really hope you guys enjoyed this look. I'm kind of happy with it. I feel like I could have done better with the eyes. But, you know, practice makes perfect. So I'm just going to keep practicing and until I really get the hang of it. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out, Girl Scouts. Okay, if you stay to the end of this video, you're a G. I'm really about to take all of this off because I don't want this on my face. We're good.